It's sticker art. It's painting with stickers, mark making with stickers. Yes, this entire portrait is made out of stickers. Thousands of stickers. Art and creating is in Hannah Smith's blood. My mom says that I came out of the womb drawing. There was never an option of doing anything else other than something in the art field. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is really the person who kind of inspired the whole project? Yeah. Yep. That's Jamie Elliott. Um, she is a transgender black woman. Um, she spoke at my town's uh, BLM protest last summer and she just moved me to tears. But I was just nervous of, of stealing her spotlight. I didn't, I didn't feel like I was ready as an artist or as a person to take on something so like civic minded in my art. Hannah started with a fan art piece first. One of her favorite YouTube stars, Keith Leak Jr. He dances, he does comedy, and he's just a great guy. He makes me laugh. So I, I felt really comfortable about starting with him um, just because I love him so much. So I knew that it would come out well because I, ha I was so invested in it with my heart. So this is the final one that you've, you've actually sent it to him. Yes. He has it. It's in LA now. But that's amazing. Thank you. And that's all done with stickers. Yes. Leek reached out to Hannah when he received it and was completely blown away. Now she has the confidence for the next one, Jamie Elliott's, which she's already begun working on. It's a very long process, and it always starts with a sketch. Just a dinky old uh, uh, graphite mechanical pencil. <laughs> and I just You made that just with one pencil? Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so just kind of to familiarize myself with him, um, his face. The next step is the color experiment. It's tedious, but this will serve as a master guide to where the stickers will go. And I just kind of have to trust myself that I'm going to do it right. Drawing and painting darker skin tones is something Hannah learned more recently. I had black classmates, but none of our models were black. And um, I didn't have my first black model. Actually, I had five at once. Um, in the first half a semester when I transferred to Hartford Art School, and that changed everything for me. The color palette is completely different. Pinks and blues work for lighter skin tones. The way the light bounces off of uh, darker skin tones are much richer colors. Pink and blue is not gonna work, and you're, you're gonna end up painting a white woman when you're looking at a black one. Hannah wrote a letter about this to her former school. This is an excerpt from a letter I wrote to Lamb Academy um, saying that, you need black models, you need to show the full diversity if you want to produce successful professional artists. Now to the fun part, all of these stickers. So I have all these stickers that I've sorted into different color groups and then I put it down on the paper layer by layer by layer, hour after hour, um, you know, looking up really, really close and then stepping way back to see how it all blends together. Even if something is less than a centimeter off, it could ruin the whole project. Here's an up-close look at Keith Leake's face. That's his mouth here. This is his nose and his eyes. And for me, I think the biggest moment uh, with the stickers, I feel like, oh, I can do this. I can do mark making. I can paint with stickers. I can do this, was when I realized that Pluto's ear was the perfect shape for his nostril. It's just, <laughs> I was giddy. Look closely, a tiny cat works perfectly for the white of his eye. And there yeah. it is, right on his eye. Unbelievable. Yeah. The I Voted sticker that we all receive, well, it's exactly where you might expect it. So I put it where I would normally wear it, oh, yeah. you know, after I voted. And it's just amazing what mark making can do. And um, I think it's brilliant being able to look up close and then look far away and see two totally different things. Hannah used all of her own childhood stickers for Keith Leake's portrait. You know, if everything happens for a reason, this was the reason for keeping those stickers. And when she put out a call on Facebook for more, people answered in a big way. So this is from a teacher, a kindergarten teacher. Um, she has lots of old stickers left over. Wow. It's all old children's stickers, and it's perfect. So, I so you can pretty much make in. any sticker work. As long as it's flat. As long as it's flat, uh, I can, uh, and not too lewd. Um, <laughs> uh, depends on the portrait I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, as long as it's flat and has some good color, I can make any sticker work for me. 
Once she finishes Jamie Elliott's, this artist has big plans. A list of famous people to recreate in stickers and some not so famous. Your favorite mailman, you have um, a librarian who you think is fantastic, um, a, a kindergartner who is doing amazing things or, you know, overcoming bullying. Anything that, you know, someone that someone else feels should be exalted, I would love to hear about it um, and consider doing a portrait of them. Well, we look forward to seeing more of them. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much.